So Monday caps off the head coaching carousel. The nine vacancies have now been filled. We know that Roger Goodell, the commissioner of the NFL, has met with some civil rights leaders as well. Issues about the Rooney Rule. Jason, from what you know and from what you're hearing, how does the league view this latest round of coaching hires? What do you think the grade they would give themselves here? Well, it's not nearly good enough. Um, it, 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 it's not what the intent of ramping up the Rooney Rule was, but the reality is the league office can only do so much. <coughs> you know, the owners pay Roger Goodell's salary, they pay Troy Vincent's salary, they pay everybody at the league office's salary. Um, the league is the owner. There aren't changes to the Rooney Rule unless the owners vote them through. There aren't any major changes made at the league office or at the league level unless the owners vote them through. And the owners continue to choose, by and large, white men, and in many cases, less experienced white men to run their head coaching, their, head, their football teams as head coaches. That's just the reality. Um, whether change is enacted from outside uh, entities like, like Capitol Hill, where we see the investigation into Daniel Snyder ramping up with the House Oversight Committee, that's certainly a possibility. At some point, would the NFL agree to bring in some outside group um, with full autonomy to, to do their own audit of diversity and inclusion in NFL hiring processes and make their own outside recommendations? Maybe. But just continuing to roll with this and tweak the Rooney Rule here or there and continue to try to incentivize people doing the right thing, it's not working. There's no expectations from many people in the game that it's going to work. And at some point, I wrote a column about this th this week at CBSSports.com, you may have to go from the carrot to the stick and start penalizing franchises that habitually don't include people of color in their management teams. There were three black head coaches in 2021. It looks like, again, there will be two with Mike McDaniel identifying as multiracial for 2022. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.